Let's start with a simple question. What if you skipped lunch today? Maybe you get a little cranky, skip a couple meals? Now we're talking headache, low blood sugar, and fantasizing about oh sandwiches. Skip food for a week? Hospital. A month? You're a documentary, but crocodiles. These ancient, armor-plated, dinosaur-descendant murder lizards can go months, even a full year without eating. And not just lying there dying slowly. They survive, alert, ready to lunge like some prehistoric Zen master with a taste for surprise attacks. So, how is that even possible? How does a creature the size of a refrigerator with a metabolism slower than a DMV line manage to pull off nature's longest intermittent fasting challenge? Let's dive in. First, let's talk thermodynamics. Crocodiles are ectothermic, cold-blooded. That means they don't generate body heat from within like we do. You and I, and your dog wearing a sweater, are constantly burning calories to maintain a stable body temperature. Crocs, they let the sun do all the work. When a crocodile basks in the sun, it's literally recharging like a solar panel in a swamp. And because they don't waste energy on internal heating, their baseline metabolic rate is insanely low. We're talking barely above idle levels of energy use. This is the biological equivalent of setting your laptop to battery saver mode, turning off the screen, and just waiting. Their heart rate can drop to 2-3 to three beats per minute during inactivity. In humans, that's called cardiac emergency. In crocodiles, it's Tuesday. So, while a human burns calories just sitting in a chair stressing about taxes, a croc can sit in the same swamp water for days, weeks, or months, and barely spend any energy at all. They've mastered the art of doing nothing, and somehow making it look menacing. And when they do move, they do so with explosive precision. It's an energy conservation strategy honed over millions of years. Why waste energy chasing something when you can just wait and let it come to you? When crocodiles do eat, they go big, like whole antelope big or half a zebra big. One meal can be the size of a toddler or multiple toddlers if they're unlucky enough to wander too close to the water. Crocodiles aren't nibblers, they gorge. Their stomach acid is so strong it can dissolve bone and horns. And unlike humans, who can't really store food for later use in the same way, crocs basically turn food into long-term fuel. That massive meal gets slowly broken down and absorbed over months. They essentially convert dinner into energy savings, and then just coast on it like a camel made of muscle and spite. It's not about eating often, it's about eating well, once, and letting biology do the rest. And because of their minimal activity levels, that energy lasts far longer than it would in a warm-blooded animal. Crocodiles don't run marathons, they don't even walk briskly. Most of their time is spent lying in water, lying on the bank, or lurking just below the surface, pretending to be a log with anger issues. Their daily caloric requirement is laughably small. Scientists estimate that a croc can survive on less than 10% of what a similarly sized mammal would need. Why? Because crocodiles don't waste energy on unnecessary movement. They live like kings on vacation. If do not disturb had a spirit animal, it would be a crocodile. Even when hunting, crocs are all about ambush, not chase. They wait, silent, still, invisible. Then, at just the right moment, bam, violence. It's like waiting eight hours for a pizza delivery and then tackling the driver. Efficient, terrifying, effective. In extreme conditions, drought, famine, or your average Australian dry season, crocodiles can enter a kind of biological, hibernate but not quite state, called estivation. It's similar to hibernation in bears, but instead of sleeping through winter, they tough out hot, dry months by digging into the mud, slowing their metabolism even further, and becoming swamp zombies. During this time, every system in their body dials down to bare minimum. Heart rate, respiration, digestion, it's all in cruise control. They can go months in this state, using tiny amounts of stored fat, muscle, and hope. Some crocs in the wild have been observed going nearly a full year without a proper meal, especially in drought-prone areas where food is scarce. It's not ideal, but it's survivable. They're not thriving, but they're also not dying. That's more than we can say for anyone trying a juice cleanse. Crocodiles store fat in very strategic places, like their tails. And we're not talking about a light snack's worth. Their tails are like biological power banks. When food is abundant, they bulk up. That stored energy can later be used to survive lean times. Slicing. Think of it like a reptilian Costco pantry. Stockpile now, feast later. Only instead of ramen and canned beans, it's calories from dissolved wildebeest. This energy-saving strategy has allowed crocs to survive for over 200 million years. They watch the dinosaurs rise, dominate, and disappear, while staying largely unchanged themselves. They didn't need wings, or fur, or tools. Just patience, sharp teeth, and the metabolic discipline of a monk. It's easy to forget, but crocodiles are basically walking fossils. Their physiology is tuned not for comfort, but for endurance. 
They've evolved to survive in harsh, food-scarce environments where the next meal might be weeks or months away. Their immune system is famously robust, their digestive system is brutal, and their tolerance for hunger is legendary. In a world where most animals freak out after a missed snack, crocs are out here meditating in mud puddles waiting for their moment. And what's even wilder? They can tolerate extended fasting without losing much muscle mass. In most animals, no food equals muscle breakdown. But crocs? They somehow hold it together, which is either incredible or terrifying, or both. They also show a resistance to diseases that would devastate other species. Scientists are only beginning to study these remarkable traits, but there's hope that understanding them could lead to breakthroughs in medicine, organ preservation, and long-term human space travel. What if we studied crocodiles not just for their terrifying bite force, but for their metabolic genius? There's growing interest in how animals like crocs manage long-term fasting. Scientists are studying their metabolism, immune system, and fat storage to look for clues about human health. Could understanding crocodiles Crocodile biology help us develop better ways to preserve organs, treat metabolic disorders, design better survival strategies for extreme environments? Some researchers even speculate about genetic or biochemical mechanisms that could be leveraged for human use. Think cryostasis, emergency survival in space, or prolonged organ viability in medical applications. It's like crocodiles are holding the cheat codes to extreme survival and just not telling anyone. We don't have answers yet, but if anyone's going to inspire the next breakthrough in energy conservation, it might just be a crocodile napping in a puddle. There's something deeply humbling about crocodiles. They don't chase, they don't waste, they wait. And when the time is right, they strike with such precision that it seems effortless. In a world obsessed with hustle, grind, and constant motion, the crocodile is a reminder that sometimes stillness is power. That energy isn't just something you spend, it's something you save. So next time you're feeling overwhelmed by your to-do list, think of the crocodile, lying in the mud, unbothered, underestimated, not because it's lazy, but because it can be. And then remember, it hasn't eaten in 11 months, and it's still a better predator than you'll ever be. Nature doesn't always reward the fastest or the busiest. Sometimes it rewards the most patient. And in that game, crocodiles are undefeated. And maybe, just maybe, in this strange world of endless productivity and over-caffeinated ambition, we could all learn a little something from the ancient, slow-burning patience of a crocodile. Wait longer, move smarter, and when the moment comes, bite hard. What if humans could do the same? Now, just for fun, let's imagine if humans could do what crocodiles do. You eat one massive meal, say three pizzas and a side of lasagna, and then don't need to eat for six months. No meal prep, no grocery bills, no deciding what to cook, just vibes. Imagine the time saved, the TikToks you'd make, the money you'd save on overpriced salads. But of course we can't. Our bodies are built for frequent fueling, constant energy use, and way too many snack cravings. Still, it's fun to dream of a world where skipping breakfast doesn't mean a meltdown at 11 a.m. So, until evolution gives us the crocodile metabolism, or at least the ability to nap in a puddle without judgment, we'll just have to admire these ancient reptiles for what they are. Slow-burning, sharp-toothed, and somehow cooler than every hustle culture guru combined. And here's the kicker. The next time someone tells you to work harder, move faster, do more, just channel your inner crocodile. Smile a little, blink once, and go absolutely nowhere. Because the croc doesn't rush, the croc doesn't chase, the croc waits and wins. Maybe you will too.